Go interactive with me, Kelly. There seems to be some misunderstandings as to what can and can't go in the yellow recycling bag. Charlotte, tell us what can and can't go in this bag. <laughs> That's right, Kelly. I think we've got two groups of people here in Nanaimo. I think some people are wishing things could go in there and some people are just plain confused. Um, we have heard from the province, unfortunately, that about 7% of the things we're putting in the yellow bag at the curbside in Nanaimo should not actually be in there. So I'm really pleased that we're here to clear up the confusion. All right. And of course, people, you know, like you're saying, um, 7%. Yeah. That doesn't seem like too high of a number, but what they don't realize is that will compromise the entire load of recycling. Exactly. So when we have high contamination, what can happen is that it all ends up going to landfill. Uh, and that's really a shame. So here's some of the common things that we're finding in recycling that really should not be in there. Your styrofoam meat trays and your grocery bags, also packaging, the styrofoam packaging. Um, these are things that you could take to the depot. If you can't get to the depot, I just ask that you just place them in your garbage. Because you're doing more harm than good. Just you're doing more harm than good, absolutely right. So there's that wishful element. I know it can be recycled, so I'm gonna stick it in the bag and hope it gets recycled. Please don't, because it contaminates our load and the, or everybody's good work just goes down the drain. Now here's one you had pointed out the cardboard is actually recycling. Absolutely, the cardboard is recyclable. But the plastic bag inside isn't. The plastic bag is not recyclable at the curb, so you can either put that, uh, take it to the depot, or just put it in your garbage. If you don't have time to go to the depot, it really is better to garbage those items. The yeah. glass, the styrofoam, and the plastic bag. You can't even take this to the depot. Not at all, no, that's just garbage. So it's a foil-lined packet. And so things like the, is, is this is a sweetie packet, but also coffee comes packaged like this, and also baby food as well. So that really is just garbage. So you have to put it in the garbage. There is no wishful thinking. And you actually, you've gotten a letter from the city, or from the province. Yeah that this is a big concern. We did, we got that letter from the province which says our contamination rate is about 7% and that's really too high. So I'm asking residents to just be mindful about what goes in their yellow bag and at every opportunity when they take it out to the curb to just have a look through again and see if there are anything in there that should either be in the garbage or taken to the depot. And also, you know, if residents don't have the time to get to the depot, please feel free to put it in the garbage. It's so much better to do that than to contaminate our loads because when we have a load with a lot of contamination, the whole thing gets landfilled. And I think that's an important message for people because there is that idea that like, well, it looks like recycling, they'll make sure it gets into the right spot. But that's not what happens. No, it's not what happens. I mean, when you put a glass into that um, truck, it shatters. So it breaks, it contaminates the whole load. Same with styrofoam, right? It breaks into tiny pieces. And also um, the plastic bags, they become tangled around everything, right? So it's not something we can even pull out if we try. And because it is a sorting process when this stuff goes to get recycled, when people take cans and put them into a cardboard box, that also causes a little bit of an issue. So if people can leave their recycling loose, that's better, even though it saves space, right? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, that really is the recycling gold standard to put everything in loose, yeah. And if you're unsure of what exactly can go in the yellow bag, it's actually listed right on the bag, and it's also on the city's website. It is on the city's website, and it's also on your garbage calendar as well. All right, so let's see if we can do a great job at reducing the contaminants in the yellow bag, bring it down from 7% right down to zero. That would be awesome.